For lesson five, we'll be talking about dividing fractions. And to start, let's talk about the definition of division, all right? We say that division is the inverse of multiplication. Inverse is another word for the English word opposite. I say it that way because in math, the word opposite does have a special meaning that we'll get to in a couple of units. But just thinking of in English like hot versus cold, that meaning of opposite, that's what inverse means. Division and multiplication are inverses, just like addition and subtraction are inverses. Okay? Another definition here is the word reciprocal. Okay? And we'll see in a second what this looks like. But the reciprocal is used for dividing fractions. Okay? So the product, which is when you multiply, of a number and its reciprocal is one. Okay? I have some other keywords here that you will see as you go through your years in math, so I included them, but it's okay if you just remember reciprocal, okay? So the product of a number and its reciprocal, also known as the multiplicative, you can see that word like multiply kind of in there, inverse, which we just did up here, is one. And one is the multiplicative, see that word multiply in there again? Identity, meaning one is the number that keeps everything the same. Like if you multiply or divide by one, nothing happens. Okay? So let's see what an example is of this reciprocal idea. Okay? So one-fourth equals... I'm going to make this into like an arrow. I don't want to put equals. Four over one. See what I did there? The reciprocal just flips over or inverts the fraction. So the reciprocal of three-eighths, and again, I'm changing to an arrow, not an equal sign, would just be to flip it over. Put the eight on the top, the three on the bottom. That's the reciprocal. Or the multiplicative inverse, if you'd rather use that word. All right, now this last one doesn't really have a clear top and bottom. Whenever you see a mixed number, remember, you want to change it into a fraction. So... 5 times the 1, and then add the 3. So 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 would be 8. Keep it over the 5. Now we want the reciprocal of that. So flip it over 5 eighths. So those are our three reciprocals. Just flip it over. All right. This is key to dividing fractions. Ready? Here's the steps. If you see any whole numbers, go ahead and put them over one. Whole numbers are like one, two, three, four, five, six, forever and ever and ever. Okay? Once you've done that, keep your first fraction the same. Change the division in the middle to multiplication instead. Notice that we made a change here. And in step four, make another change, okay? You're going to flip the second fraction by, by finding the reciprocal. So these two steps here both make a change. And in math, if you're changing something, if you want it to stay equal or equivalent, you have to change something else at the same time. So if you're trying to keep it equal, always make two changes. So let's see an example. Divide the fractions with the whole numbers. So 5 divided by 1 fourth. First of all, my step 1 says if I see a whole number to put it over 1. So 5 over 1. And then I'm just going to rewrite it. Step 2 says keep the first fraction, so 5 over 1. Change the division into multiplying. And then flip the second fraction over. So the reciprocal would be 4 over 1. And now we follow the rules from yesterday's lesson. 5 times 4 is 20. 1 times 1 is 1. So this is just 20. Okay, so number 5, same thing. See any whole numbers? Yep, there's a 2. So 1 third divided by 2 over 1 because putting the 1 underneath doesn't change its value. 
All right, keep, change, flip. So keep it, change it, flip it. So now it's one half. Go ahead and multiply. One times one is one, three times two is six. There's our final answer. All right, number six. Put a one under that two. It doesn't change the value. Keep it, change it, flip it. Two times five is 10. One times two is two. 10 divided by two. Remember fractions mean division. That's just five. Okay, and last one here. 15 thirds divided by, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a one under this four. Keep it, change it, flip it. So, whoops. So 15 thirds times, flip it, one fourth. 15 times one, three times four. And we can also change this into a mixed number if we want. So one twelve will fit in there and then three left over. Which definitely simplifies because I know that for the three, I can simplify that by three and I can simplify the 12 by three as well. So we'll get one and one fourth. All right, so those were fractions with whole numbers. We're gonna see in this next part that there aren't any whole numbers. So 6 sevenths divided by 6 twenty-firsts. We're gonna divide and give our answer in simplest form. So remember, keep, change, flip, KCF. So keep it, change it, flip it. Notice again, we're changing two things. When you do that, it keeps it equal. Because division and multiplication are inverses, if we then flip over the second fraction, we're sort of balancing out the fact that we just randomly decided to change operations. All right, I don't really want to multiply 6 by 21, so I'm going to try that trick from yesterday. Remember if I switch these, it would be now 21 over 7 times 6 over 6. This is just 1. And actually, isn't 21 divided by 7 just a math fact? Yeah, that's 3 times 1. This whole answer just came out to 3. Crazy. All right, number 11. Keep it. Change it. Flip it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and multiply. 8 times 4. 9 times 3. Definitely could turn that into a mixed number. So 1. And so that's 127. And it's going to be 5 left over to get us up to 32. So 1 and 5 27ths. Number 12. Keep it. Change it. Whoops, I didn't change it. Change it. And flip it. I see a little trick here, but I'm going to just do it normal. So 5 times 8 would be 40. 8 times 1 would be 8. But I know that 40 over 8 means 40 divided by 8, which is just 5. You could have used the trick here, though, and switched those, and it would have simplified before you multiplied. Last one. Got a mixed number here. Let's turn it into a fraction. So 5 times 1, and then add the 2. So 5 plus 2 is going to be 7 fifths divided by 3 fourths. Keep it. Change it. Flip it. 7 times 4, 5 times 3, and we can try to make this into a mixed number. So it would be 1, and if you're not sure, you got to figure out now what's the difference here between 15 and 28. So it's going to be 13 fifteenths. And lastly here, we do have a reflection question asking you how are division and multiplication related? What about addition and subtraction?